Yo, what is going on, YouTube? My name is Gene Spring, guys, part 11 for my playthrough on Pokemon Sword. Before this video even starts, help support me as a content creator by scrolling down a little bit, smashing that like button, clicking that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. So, guys, in the last episode, we actually made our way all the way up to Winden City, right here where the battle stadium is. And in this episode, we're going to be moving towards the battle stadium and completing all the battles in here and start trying to make our way towards facing off against the champion. So, let's start making our way this way towards the battle stadium. Look at this place. Just gorgeous, baby. <laughs> place looks awesome, dude. I cannot wait. We have a lot of battles to go through today. We got to battle a ton of different people, a ton of our rivals, maybe a couple different old gym leaders and all that. And then we got to start making our way up to do some bigger and better things in this game. So right now, we, have to, we actually have to check in to the stadium right here with Hop right here. So we're just going to check into the stadium and prepare for our battles and all that good stuff. So let's get going into these battles and get whooping on some fools. Oh yeah, oh yeah, into the battle stadium right here to kind of prove our worth to be able to verse this champion. It's not like we already beat all eight gyms, but our first or opponent right here is Marnie right here. We have like all the rivals actually versus because we're all kind of competing to go up against the champion and try to be the new champion. So we got to beat them in a battle. So let's go. We got Marnie to start us off. Then we legit just versed her. We legit just versed her back at the seventh gym, but that's okay. We kind of versed Hop like after every gym, so <laughs> it's fine. But we we're challenged by Trainer Marnie right here. We're gonna have to give her the old workings. She's gonna drop out live part right here. I forgot to show you guys my team. I'll actually show you guys my team real quick. Well, we're rocking Sent the Scorch in the front spot. I'll actually show you guys my team right now once we get to the screen. I'll hit my Pokemon, show you guys down there. But all the Pokemon basically at 54, 55 level. I level them up off screen in my stream. Link will be in the description below. Follow me on Twitch. Gene Swing 5 stream 4 plus days every single week. But we're, rock but we're rocking a level 54 Sense Scorch, 55 Roller Boom, 54 Grab Block, 54 Tox Trissy. Our highest level 56 Corviknight and our 54 Dreadnought. But let's get into this battle right here. We're going to start off with a nice little bug bite because it is super effective against this live part. Oh, she going to torment me? What you want? What you want? Huh? I'll Merc on this fool. You. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> one tap right there they're kind of a little bit lower level than me level 47 yo dude we eat that up we eat that up baby banana scrappy we're gonna keep current pokemon because i think our fire will just be fine he's part dark right what is he dark and fighting let's see what we have against him nothing super effective but we're gonna use our new fire move fire lash right here this actually sent scorch's new fire move we actually got rid of flame wheel but this thing rocks you what did it just drop defense fell Woo! Woo! Oh, he's going to swagger us, raise our attack, but it's gonna, going to confuse us right here. But that's all good. We're just going to get a quick little Merkins on this little fool right here. But like I said, we're in the battle stadium. We have so many battles to do. Like, no lie. We cannot use that move twice in a row with Torment. It's all right, dude. We'll just bug fight you. Our, our attack is up, so you're done. You were done. Oh, yeah, we got the hit off. We might actually want to switch out Pokemon for the rest of this battle, so we don't have to really waste time with all that confusion and all that good stuff. But, dude, we crushing this game, yo. We crushing this. I cannot wait to finish this up and get into post-game stuff. But she's going to send out Toxic Croak right here. We're actually going to switch out to our... Who do we want to switch out to? We're going to switch out to our big dog Toxicity right here. We got Boom Burst and Discharge. We can actually start working on saying. Like I was saying, I want to get the post-game things. Because I'm going to be doing all post-game on stream. It's going to be so much fun. You guys better be there, dude. But we're going to be uh, finishing up the Pokemon Pokedex. I'm already halfway done that. I'm 200 plus Pokemon right now. So we're going to be getting all 400. We're going to be probably shiny hunting. And then we're going to be, what's it called? Maybe like making competitive teams for YouTube videos and all that. So we can actually do like rank battles. But we're going to use Boom Burst here. Look at this move, dude. Merc. Absolutely Merc. <laughs> He's done, dude. Just Merc'd on the fool. Who got next? About to send out more Peckle. We're just going to keep out our Toxicity right here. He can do some work with Boom Burst or Discharge. It doesn't really matter. Or we have Poison Jab with him too. And we can always Toxic the more Pekka. Does not matter. But is this her last Pokemon? She has two more. We're actually going to Dynamax right here. We're going to go with Max Strike. Try to take this bad boy out one shot at a time and then have two shots for the next Pokemon as she will Dynamax. Let's go. I don't think we ever Dynamax for Toxicity, have we? I don't ever recall, but look at this dude. <laughs> this boy's ready to whoop. He's ready to whoop right here. Look at him. Yo, he actually he's playing the guitar on his chest. <laughs> my dude, my dude. And more Pekka is still going to outspeed me? What you mean? <laughs> Let's go. We're going to use Max Strike. Let's go. I like how all the moves, they're, if they're, oh, that was one tap. If they're like normal or each type is only one certain move. So every fire move is the same when you're Dynamax. Every water move is the same when you're Dynamax. So Toxtrus is going to level up to 55. I think we learned just about all the moves there is. I, don't, I think maybe everybody still has like one more big move they have to learn. 
but she's gonna send out her grim snarl <laughs> this thing's a beast dude i gotta get get me one of these level 49 we should be able to just tap it up let's see anything oh max is super effective that's night night bye bye well should be i don't know if, when oh she has a giga max form so i it might not or gigantamax form so it might not take it out but it's definitely going to do some work two hits should be able to take this thing out two poison jabs but look at this thing gigantamax Jeez. has its own form it turns to an absolute unit absolute unit its hp is probably through the roof sitting at probably <laughs> like three high 300s by the say i'm gonna use max use right here look at this Ooh. oh almost one tapped it almost one tapped. come on show me we poisoned him no, but what raises? Our special attack does raise. He does not get poisoned. He's going to get one shot off on us. And we're just going to actually finish him off here with probably just... Probably Max Ooze again. Just in case he heals up, we can actually deal more damage. Because I wouldn't be surprised if they use like a full restore or something. You know what I'm saying? I can see it happening. But we're going to go Max Ooze once again. But like I said, use is a full restore. Luckily, we did use this Max Ooze. So we're chilling out. Hopefully, we can rock a crit here. Or maybe at least poison and finish this off this turn right here. Come on. Come on. So because I knew she was going to go for the full restore. I just had a feeling. Just like, yo, Marnie's the type of chick to go for the full restore. I was just like, she's going to do it. We're in the battle stadium. This ain't no first gym anymore. They ain't playing it lightly on me. We're going to smack him up. Let's get um, Boom Burst going. He's probably going to hit first. Oh, we hit first. We actually finished him off. Oh. Oh. Jeez, dude. I seriously thought he was going to uh, actually hit us first and take out our Pokemon. But that is what's up. That's what's up. So now we actually have to move on to a couple different battles. So we're going to move on to the next one. Let's go. Let's roll out here onto our second battle in the battle stadium. I believe we actually might be versus Hop in the final match. Is that true? Because Hop just went out and won his match. So I think it was like a four person match. Is that how it goes? Let's see who we actually have. Is it Hop? Yes, it is Hop. We actually have to verse Hop. This will be our final battle with him, I believe. I believe it is our final battle here. But I'm actually rocking Graplock in my front spot. My boy Graplock. Rap lock is in the front spot because <laughs> I'm predicting he's gonna start off with a double like he usually does So if we can start with the grab block and get the early lead and kind of just start running his team off the map But let's go dude. Why is his number 189? He had to pick a number. We got my boy 25 on my number 25 on my back. Yes, like I said do that read already I knew he was gonna go out with that double because I believe the fighting should be super effective to this little punk Yo, our Dynamax band is glowing once again. We're ready to rip up right here Yo, ha, let's knock it off. Stop chit-chatting, and let's get into this fight. Let's go, let's go. Like I said, dude, we got a super effective move. This, Brick Break, break Oh, Zen Headbutt. That's actually super effective to us. Dude, poo-poo damage. Poo-poo damage. I thought that was going to do a lot more. I thought that was actually going to put us down to close to red. But let's go. Brick Break here, and actually one tap this double. See you later. This is exactly how I want to start off this match. With a nice little super effective hit on this double and take it out. So now we can kind of just, like... Depending on who he's throwing out, we can kind of just like switch our Pokemon out and just kind of run it. Let's see what he has. So Corviknight, we're actually going to switch out to our Tent Scorch. Tent Scorch has that new Fire Lash. We should be able to take this out easily considering it is Steel now. But what you guys want? What do you want, Hop? I'm going to be murking on you. But dude, I'm so ready to actually just be done with this game. Kind of do post-game things. I'm very excited to do all the post-game things. <laughs> I'm just ready. I'm so hyped. Let's go. You can't eat berries? What you mean? Get Fire Lash. Get out of my face, little boy. Should one tap him. Yay. Yeah. Built. See? Oh, what you mean? One HP? Are you kidding me? Now he hits me with a drill pack? Ridiculous, dude. Ridiculous right here. That's bogus. I'm calling full restore? No, no full restore. I was going to say, dude, I'm surprised he didn't heal up there. Maybe when he Gigamax or something or Dynamax or something. Oh, we get a crit when there's one HP. How nice is that? <laughs> That's just wonderful. There we go. Send the Scorch levels up to 55. And we will just keep running the Snorlax. Yeah, you know who we're going with. We're going back to our boy Graplock. And we might actually run a superpower here. Just go all out. Try to one-tap this fool. I think that's what we're going to do. Because superpower, it drops your attack and defense. But it deals a massive amount of damage. Like, for real. For real. What you want, Snorlax? What you want? Imagine if Snorlax had a third stage and went much like Snorlax and then a bigger guy. <laughs> just be an absolute unit. But we're going to roll out with this superpower here. See what he wants. Built. Like I said, yo, we get that one tap, exactly what I wanted. Now we'll send that grab block a little bit. Yo, dude, you're done for the battle because I don't want to roll him, roll out with him as he's minus one attack and minus one defense. He'll just struggle in the battlefield now. Let's go. Corbinite to 57 and grab block to 55. He's going to send out Pinchurn, which is an electric type. So what is super effective to electric? 
Ooh, I think we might just roll out with uh with Toxtricity and just give it a nice little boom burst here. Or a poison jab. Let's get it. What you want, Pinchurn? What you want? It's always nice to have that normal move like boom burst. So like if you don't really know what to go up against, you can always send out that normal Pokemon and just send out that uh normal move. Because it'll always be a solid attack. You guys know what I'm saying? Look at this Pinchurn right here. We're gonna go with uh boom burst right here. Just go with the weapons. What you want? Take it out. Merc, dude. How's Pokemon stink? They stink! <laughs> Yo, we murking on everything. The only thing we didn't one tap. I don't even know what he said. He was sending out, but we're gonna go with our Rillaboom. Did he say Inteleon? Did he say Inteleon? Let's see, we're going with a Rillaboom. Because we do need to get our luck incense out here so we get some more cash. Who did he say he was going out with? Let's see. Come on, who you got? Because doesn't he only have five Pokemon, so the last one should be Inteleon? Yes, it is Inteleon. Perfect. We're just gonna. Dynamax here, and then just go with a uh, wood hammer and say night night, dude. Let's go. Let's go fight Let's go Dynamax. Well, everything's max overgrowth. This should actually still take it out in one hit whether he Dynamaxes his Inteleon or not I think it's just gonna take him out wipe him out clean and now we got the luck incense So a real boom can double up our earnings, baby Let's go, dude Dude, Inteleon actually grew on me. All the starters I actually really do like. I like the way they look and all that. Like, at first, I didn't really like any other starters so much, except besides Grookey and Rillaboom Slime. And then I was just like, dude, Cinderance is pretty cool. And now I kind of like Inteleon. So, I'm actually I'm actually pleased with all the Pokemon that they made. <laughs> but th those were the only Pokemon that I really had, like, issues with in the beginning was the two other starters. I was just like, well, not the starter. The start, all the starters are cool. But, like, the evolution line. But I had no problems with all the other new Pokemon. I thought every single Pokemon looked cool. But now these two grew on me. And now I love the whole game. Like every single Pokemon that they released. Let's go, yo. We got Rillaboom. Yo, he goes first with Max Hailstorm. Oh, yeah. This thing does outspeed me. Fair. I don't think that would kill. Weak Sauce. Weak Sauce, Amazon. Don't you dare freeze me. That freeze me? No, it started a Hailstorm, which is not a big deal. We're just going to, uh, I think we're going to finish them off here. They're Max Overgrowth. I think it will do it. Let's go, dude. One tap your Inteleon. One tap your Inteleon. That was Dynamax. How do you feel? How do you feel that your Pokemon is that weak? <laughs> but let's go. We can actually finish off Hop and get moving along with this main story, dude. I'm hype. I am so hyped considering we are almost done. We have two more main things to do. One is be the champion. I don't really want to say what the other thing is, but you guys might know. So after defeating Hop in the semifinals of the Battle Stadium, we can actually move on what well, we were supposed to move on to verse Leon, the champion. That was our reward for beating everybody else in the tournament in the Battle Stadium. But Leon is actually late and something is going on at the Rose Tower. So we're going to head outside and see what is going on. We got Piers out here and everybody. Let's actually talk to Piers and see what's up. So after all that is done, we actually have to find that bad Link staff, and he was wearing some different shades. So he was wearing all black shades. So you can see these guys do not have all black shades. So we actually have to find them and get that key. So let's uh, let's get looking around. Let's get looking around. Dude, what's this guy? This guy's gotta be him. Looking at the wall, you can't even see his shades. Hey, Jeans, this bloke's awfully shifty, but I can't get him to turn around. Say something surprising so that he'll have no choice but to look this way. Miscellaneous here. <laughs> He looks, and it is the shady guy, dude. It is that bad league staff right here. He has those black shades and all that. But we have to get that key from him so we can get to the tower. And we actually have to battle him. So let's get rolling. He's rocking out with a Galarian Meat Elf. What you want, fool? We're going with Grump Rock right off the bat. Let's see if we can do some work. Let's see if we can do some work. Brick Break will one tap him up. He only has two Pokemon. He only has two Pokemon. Get out my face, little boy. Get out my face, dude. What you want? What you want, fool? He's gonna send out Durant, Mr. Kevin Durant over here. I, I call it Kevin Durant, dude. That's hilarious. <laughs> Alright, let's go. We got Team Yell cheering us on, but this thing's only level 47. We're pretty high level for um right here. What are we? Plus eight on this guy? Plus eight levels right here? We're gonna just roll out with a superpower. Go all out here, because this is his last Pokemon. Oh, we'll get us murked. Take him out. Woo! That's what I like to see. That's what I like to see. Let's go, dude. Take him out. Dreadnought will actually level up and Rillaboom. So 56 and 55. Anyone want to learn a move? Nope. Nobody wants to learn a move. But we defeat the bad staff member. And hopefully we get the key now. Let's see what happens. All I need to do is hide. And I won't have to give you the key. Are you kidding me? He's going to run away. We got to go find him again. That hunk of junk. It's a wonder how fast that guy could run. I've got no idea where he went. Are you kidding me? We got to go find him again. That hunk of junk. He's probably just floating around here doing something dumb. <laughs> Let's go look around. Where's he at? Looking for bad shades. Is this it? I think I see bad shades right here. Let's see this guy. 
It is him. <laughs> How'd you find me? Or did you just talk to everyone you met? Bah, whatever. I'll defeat you this time. He was literally standing in open, walked that way, and just stood there. <laughs> Not a hard find. Pretty easy. He's going to send out Mawile. Dude, I was sitting there trying to catch this Mawile. Yesterday, I was trying to catch him. And I had to be in the snowstorm. And I was sitting there in the snow for a good, like, 30 minutes. And I couldn't find him. I was like, why can't I find him? I am in the right weather. But I wasn't in the right weather. I had to been in the snowstorm. <laughs> Not just the snow. So it was annoying me. <laughs> well, let's go defeat that Mawile right there. Give him a little trucking. Let's go. Nobody levels up. Get some mean XP, though. He's going to send out Excadrill, which we're just going to switch out to our boy, Senta Scorch, because Excadrill is actually a steel type and ground, dude. So good. So good for competitive play, this Pokemon. Excadrill, he's phenomenal. He has multiple moveset. He can learn EQ, rapid spin, and all that stuff. So he's a very nice and viable Pokemon in competitive play, like ranked battles and all that. But let's go. Let's actually finish. Is this the only... He only has two Pokemon, right? What happened? What I just... Oh, Team Yell just helped us out there. Jeez, but we're gonna fire last there. That's night night S control. Bye bye, buddy. Yay. <laughs> Merc, dude. We're just murking on every single Pokemon. We're just absolutely murking on every single Pokemon. Let's go. Mean XP, mean XP. And we can actually defeat him again. Is he gonna go run and hide again? Or what's his problem? What's he gonna do right here? What are you going to do, fool? Let's see. They say hide a tree in a forest, so I thought I could hide myself in a crowd. That was terrible. Oh, dude, he's running away again. That hunk of junk. Where'd he going? Where's he going? Please don't tell me this is him. Is this him? Is this him? It is him! You're way too observant, but I'll win this time and make my getaway. <laughs> Yo, he literally just went exactly where he walked across and literally just went into the phone booth. I was prepared to go walk all the way over and not even see him. He, I literally took two steps and he was just chilling there. But we're versus a Pharisee right here. Are we super effective anything? Oh, dude, that's night-night. Break, break. Says, see you later, dude. Dude, my grab block rocks, dude. He's one of my favorite Pokemon in this game. Well, in the new gen. I just really like his design and all that. He's standing on three legs. Oh, he had iron barbs. But he's standing on three legs. He got four. He's like a little Machamp. He has four arms. <laughs> and then one of his tentacles is wrapped around his body. As you can see that. So that's where all eight of his ten tentacles are. But he's going to send out a Steelix. We're just going to switch out to our Sense Switch right here. And hopefully we can one-tap it. We should be like plus eight, seven levels on him. Which is not bad. Not bad at all. Let's get it. Let's go. What you want? Thank you, Marnie. Marnie's gonna boost our what? Defense again? Our attack and special attack? Now we're definitely gonna one tap this thing. See ya, Steelix! Get out of my face, little boy! Bill. See you later! See you later, dude. Steelix is, is so cool. I wish I actually would have kept Mega Evolutions. Like, I do like the Dynamax, but I always like the new uh, design. Like, Gigamax or Gigantamax kind of, like, picks up on that, which is pretty cool. But I always like the Mega Evolutions, getting the Mega Stone so you can do it. Yo, let's go. We defeated this guy, and he actually is going towards the Monorail. He said he was running towards the Monorail, so that we actually have to make our way towards this. We're, we're going to go get hot before we actually go in there so we can actually murk him up and all that. Let's go. Oh, he has his staff lined up. Oh, they're all just lined up here. What you want? What you want, fool? We're going to have, like, a giant team battle? <laughs> like a four-person battle all at once. Look at us. We all make our way over here. We got Hop and Marnie. Where's uh, me and Piers? Here's me. Where's Piers at? What are you doing, Hop? What are you doing? Here's Piers. Here we go. We are ready to rock out. You did a cracking job of cornering that bad league staff member, Jeans. Let me sing you a song fitting of your rocking deeds. Let's go. Do it. Come on, Piers. Rip these fools up. Rip these fools up. What are you doing? Oh, yeah. Brings out her microphone and starts jamming out for some reason. I don't even know what that does. But they're all cheering for Pierre and Marnie right here. And they're, I don't even know what the, what's going on. Everyone's like, oh, is that Pierce? I guess she's, like, famous around here. And maybe she's setting a distraction or something. What is that? I don't even know what's going on. She just brought out her microphone and started singing. Look at the zigzagoons. They're ready to jam. Oh, oh, they're like, yeah. <laughs> Pierce is singing. Look, oh my god, everyone starts running around that way. Oh, it moves them out the way. Nice job, Piers. Nice job. Let's hit this bounce boogie and skid it on. Get out of here, dude. Let's hit up this tower. What you want? What you want, fools? There we go. Dude, we make our way up here. Let's go. Search for the bit. Oh, no. Our thing's going to change. But look at this. We make our way to this tower right here. I guess we got the key from him somehow. Yo, let's go. We're going to make our way up here. Actually, go get that champion and Mr. Rose, the chairman, dude, because... You can tell the whole game, he's been up to no good right here. He's ready to set off, uh, what is it? Like the darkest day or something in Galar? So we're gonna head up there and kind of stop him. Let's roll out. Let's roll out. Yo, let's go. Me and Hopper are actually gonna make our way up this tower right here. And go get that champion, like I've been saying. And go see what Mr. Chairman's 
all about Mr. Chairman. Mr. Rose, <laughs> the chairman. Yo, look at this floor, yo. This place is cool, though. Let's go. Listen, Jeans. Don't know if you knew this already, but I've heard Rose Tower was built on a power spot. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. When we get up to the roof and have a bit of space, we can Dynamax our Pokemon. Woo! Oh, yeah, dude. We are built on a power spot, so we can Dynamax. That's why you can only Dynamax inside, um, what's it called? The stadiums and all that, the gym challenges, because that is they're on power spots. But we have this uh, staff member right here. We actually we actually have to defeat before we actually make our way up. He's throwing out Kevin Durant, KD, Mr. MVP over here. <laughs> We got my boy Grapple Lock. We should be able to just start tapping this thing up. He, it's his only Pokemon. We're just gonna superpower then. He's gonna use agility. Dumb. Stupid. I like his music though. It's like nice soft little music. I don't know why when we're kind of in like a, a big situation right here. <laughs> I thought it'd be like dun dun. Dun 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 dun. We didn't kill it. Are you kidding me? Nice little soft music. I'm loving this. <laughs> He's gonna use Iron Head. Do some work on us. Jeez, dude. I don't think this uh, bug has an evolution right here, which is pretty dope. He's kind of just like a single evolution Pokemon. He kind of stays small, but he's actually a very strong Pokemon too, all around. All around, dude. His speed is insane, dude. He's a very quick Pokemon. Let's drop Waterfall on this boy. Give him the quick little weapons. Say, night, night. KD, you're gone. <laughs> Let's see who we got. Anyone level up? Nope, we got some nice XP, but that was his only Pokemon, so we're going to actually take his money and get out of here. Let's go, dude. Let's hit the bounce of Boogie. Start making our way up this elevator right here. Come on, hop. Let's go, baby. Let's go. <laughs> let's go. Let's go. Up the elevator. Up the elevator. How do we get up the ele elevator? Oh, I had to hit the button. Really? Hop couldn't just hit the button or something? <laughs> he said, let's go. I did hit the button. I think it was a way for us to, like, to let us heal up our Pokemon or something. But we're making our way up this elevator all the way to the top floor. Yo, let's go. We got to go meet the chairman. And... The boy, the champion up there. But is the champion up to something no good? Because he's always with the chairman. You know what I'm saying? What? I don't think we're at the roof yet. Why have we stopped? Oh, we got... Is this a double battle? Dude, we got ourselves a mean double battle right here. I'd be down. I'd be down. I got my grab block in the front spot. But I should change him up in a little bit from the front spot. He's running out of superpowers. He only has two left. Here we go. Double battle right here. This music, this soft, nice music is still playing. But we got a coupon right here. And a Bronx on. Why isn't this thing fully leveled up? I just don't get it. Why isn't it fully evolved? I'm going to take on that Kufant. I should be able to just one-tap that boy. Yeah, look. We're just going to break, break this Kufant. See you later, Kufant. As if I just hit his double. Like, get out of here. <laughs> just killed it. Why are you hitting that thing? You know I'm slapping on that thing and one-tapping him. Oh, my lord, dude. Couldn't have just hit the Brong, the Brong song right there? Like, what's he mean? I love how Kufant's uh, little trunk's just like a spoon and all that. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Let's go. He's going to use extra sensory right here. On Ooh. Take out our grapple lock. No, please. <laughs> Actually, murked on that fool. Not a fan. Not a fan. We're going to send out our Scent Scorch because this thing is part steel. And then it, it'll just be game over. Like, I just don't understand how this thing doesn't have a... Oh, Crunch is super effective, too. We're going to drop a Crunch. But I don't. I just don't get how he doesn't have a Copper Ajah, the second stage of a Kufant. Dude, why are you using Body Slam? I love how Body Slam looks. He kind of just steps on him, squashes him down. Hopefully, this can take him out. Bruh. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? God, he's on a double. Don't why you gotta hit up my Santa Scorch, dude. Why you gotta hit up my Santa Scorch? But we can actually finish him off here. What's double gonna use? Body slam. I wonder what the shiny double looks like. Because I might actually shiny hunt for a Wulu. Like, could you imagine if he's just like gold? A <laughs> gold sheep. <laughs> Is he a sheep or a ram? I think it's like a mixture of both. <laughs> but there we go. Finish off the double battle right here. And now hopefully we can make our way up to the roof. I'm ready, dude. I'm ready. To see what's going on and all that. And do we face off against the champ? No, I think we go back to the stadium. I think we're just getting him for his battle because he is late right now. Let's go. Let's go, Hop. Oh, he heals up our Pokemon. That means something's going to go down if he's healing up our Pokemon. <laughs> like how oh, Hop could just heal up our Pokemon whenever. Why don't we get that good stuff right here? Is this the roof? Is this the roof right here? Let's see what Hop has to say. No, it's not the roof. Another double battle. What you want? You guys want the sauce again? Jeez, yo. This is weird. Like, the music just playing is all soft music. And it's just a constant music. There's no other sounds in the background. It's just... Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Let's go. Dub Why didn't you switch up your double? Your double's not even that good. Like, he's he just been using a body slam, not even doing that much damage. Oh, Mawile's gonna intimidate us. I always like Mawile's design, too. Oh, what do we got? We got Brick Break. I think we're gonna Brick Break on this, uh... This Mawile. Let's Brick Break on this Mawile. Double's gonna use body slam. Why, dude? Why you gotta do that? 
Ooh, but nice parallels. Actually, that might have been smart because I don't think we we're gonna actually finish this thing off. Yeah, see, we won't actually finish this off. We're gonna, he's gonna shift gears here. Ooh, I like that move. He's <laughs> gonna raise his speed and his attack already. So he's probably gonna go first next time. Mount Wild is gonna hit us with his Iron Head. Luckily, we went first so we don't actually flinch off here. I'm gonna go super power on this uh, Clang right here. I'm gonna go super power on this Clang. Clang's gonna screech. Double, can you take out this Mount Wild? Why are you going after that? I just don't understand that. I wanted you to take out the Mount Wild. I thought you were gonna do that. We're gonna superpower that, actually take that out. Built. See you later, punk. And double, we, you could have took out the mall while and this battle would have been over already. But you're a hunk of junk. Let's keep rolling out here. We are moving along. We have this mall while just chilling here. Being a hunk of junk. Let me actually finish this. No, I do not want a superpower. Why not hit the superpower button? It's okay. It's not too big of a deal. We're chilling. We are chilling right here. Body slam comes out. And then we can actually finish off this Pokemon right here with our superpower and get moving along. Perfect. Defeated those last two. Or is that the last two bad staff members right there? We're actually going to be moving along here. Hopefully we can actually defeat these guys and get them quick little Merkins. Are we up to the roof? Are we going to the roof? Show me that we're going to the roof. Come on. I want the roof so bad. I want to give this a nice little whooping right here. So we're going to have to deal with this later. But oh, we got two more staff members. We're actually going to have to beat these guys right here. Right now, let's get them. So, punks. What you want? What you want, fools? Dude, this music's so odd. Like, did they just, like, throw in a the track? They don't want to finish out this? Because <laughs> it's literally just the same music going along this whole time. Which is pretty crazy. Oh, what are we super effective to? We're going to brick break it. Whatever we're super effective to. Both of them. Um, I'm going to actually super power this Steelix. This thing probably has more health. So we can actually take this bad boy out. If you use Body Slam on Steelix. Okay, thank you. I was gonna be so mad. Dude, your double is absolute trash. It's just absolute trash right here. And it's ridiculous. But there we go. Take out that Steelix. His double only uses body slam. And it does like three damage. Like, what more? Like, what are you doing? <laughs> that is crazy. We're gonna hit. He's gonna use bounce right here. That's not even gonna do. Oh, he's just gonna go up in the sky. Dang it. I don't think we can hit him unless he hits first. I guess we'll just go with the brick break just in case he comes out first. Hopefully he does. Double's gonna use bison. We're both gonna miss. No! That means battle will take longer. <laughs> He's actually gonna hit us right here. We're fine, dude. Our double got paralyzed. How'd he get paralyzed? I don't even know how he got paralyzed right here, but this brick break should actually be able to do some work and actually finish this bad boy off. Take him out. Dude, double. Can he do more damage? And of course he doesn't. Double. You stink! <laughs> you stink, double! He's gonna bounce again. We're gonna actually miss a turn again. No! <laughs> that is actually absolutely hilarious. Not gonna lie. Let's just go with here. Use Brick Break. We're gonna miss because we're just both gonna outspeed him. Actually, the what's called? The double does not, or the Stunkfish doesn't uh, outspeed this uh, double with bounce. Well, let's go. Brick Break him up. That is night night. See you later, Stunkfish. Boom! See ya, Karate Chop dead. Can we move up to the top floor now? I'm ready for this. I'm tired of doing a bunch of little battles and all that. I just want to get into the main battle. I want to get it. I want to become champion. You guys know what I'm saying? You guys know what I'm saying? But there's not even like an end music. Like usually when you get money, it's like... Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> but it's not even like that anymore. It's not even like that. But there we go. We're gonna, Hop's going to heal up our Pokemon right again. Like I said, I want that. Like, little item or something. There's, that's gotta be an item. Just, like, heal up your Pokemon right away. Oh, but we're going up to the top. I can tell by the cutscene. Ooh! Ooh, we! Look at us, dude. It's huge! It's absolutely huge. And we got Alina right here. Let's see what she has to say. Welcome to the Chairman Rose's exclusive space here nearly a thousand feet above the Earth. So you got through all the special staff that I had ordered to stop you. I would expect nothing less of trainers handpicked by the champion Leon himself. But I am afraid it is now time for you to go home. Because I will not allow anyone to disturb the great chairman Rose. You shall be the first, Jeans. If I beat you to pieces, then the champion will have no one to battle and will thus lose heart. In that state, he will listen to anything the chairman says. Oh no, we got a first Elaine here. Jeez, he went crazy. They're definitely up to a big plan. Definitely gonna send out the darkest day on us. And we don't really know what that means. But here we go. She got started with a, fra a Frost Last, which is actually uh, Snow Run's final evolution. It is Ghost and Ice type. But what are we starting off with? We're actually going off with a Brick Break. Or no, let's start off with a nice little superpower. I think we're going to get started with this superpower. Oh, he's going to burn our uh, 
grab block. So we're just gonna uh, actually superpower out here, then brick break, and try to finish off this frost slice, and then actually switch out because I don't want to use him if he's just burnt the whole time. Oh, it doesn't affect him. Oh, we gotta switch out right away now. We gotta switch out right away. We're gonna go straight into our Scented Scorch. Jeez, dude, I didn't think his Ghost type would actually affect that that much. But let's go. We're gonna set, switch out to our Scented Scorch. Dude, Frost Slice is such a cool Pokemon. All the Pokemon that came out in the Sinnoh region that were just like extra evolutions, like Frost Slice, Mouse, Swine, Rhyperior, Togekiss, and all them. I love them so much. I think they're all so cool. But we're gonna actually Fire Lash this bad boy. We can actually Dynamax our Pokemon whenever we want. He's gonna Hex again, not take us out. Our Scented Scorch has over 200 HP, which is nuts. Built. See you later, Frost Slash. Merc in one hit. <laughs> Let's go. What you fools want? What you want, Elena? You're not that good. You're not that good. I'm just gonna let you know. We're here. We're here to uh, kick butt and take names. Oh, Milotic's coming out. You know who we're going into? A big dog, Rilla Boom. A big dog, Rilla Boom, right here. Let's go. Should we Dynamax or Rilla Boom? No, we're just gonna uh, go with a nice uh, drum beating right here. And hopefully we can take it out. Level 51. I don't think we're gonna be able to take it out. This is a pretty strong. Uh, Pokemon right here. We're going to go drum beating. And I think we're going to go uh, low yellow mid. My opinion. Because she's a bit of a tank. No, dude. We do not want to have it. But we do bring it down to the red. And her speed is going to fall. Because that is a nice little jumping thing. And then she has competitive inner ability. And her special attack does raise right here. She's going to use aqua ring. But that was kind of dumb. We'll actually finish her off right here. Because that will just heal her up a little bit. Let's go. You dead. You dead. Who's dead? You dead. Drum beating once again. See you later. Poke. Milo Tick is sick, dude. I gotta actually find out where to find a Milo Tick. Or uh, at least a Feebass, because I would like to, I gotta get the Feebass in my Pokedex, too. So. Let's go. See you later. What more do you want? What more do you want? There you go. Level up all them bad boys. We got a Salazzle as a fire Pokemon. We're actually gonna give Dreadnought a little bit of loving today, because he has Liquidation and Scald. I think we're gonna use Liquidation on this bad boy. But let's go. Dude, Salazzle is cool. She's from Sun and Moon. She was actually on my Sun and Moon team. Salazzle, because only females can evolve. Like, that was the weird thing. Like, if you found a guy, you cannot evolve it. Oh, she's going to poison us. Or does that just do damage or just poison us? She's going to poison us straight up here. Ew. But yeah, the girls were rare drops. The girl, uh, first stage of Salazzle, were rare drops in that game. And so they were tough to find and all that. Let's go. We got a poison Salazzle. Um, and what else? A burnt grab lock. <laughs> but a real boom does level up. And a dreadnought does. Let's go. No way to learn, learn to move. Eww. Hate being poisoned. So we're hurt by the poison. She's gonna send out. Oh, isn't that a? We're gonna go back to our Sensor Scorch. A Tesserini, right? Isn't that the Grass Pokemon? I think I'm right. I'm thinking it's like the kind of looks like Gardevoir or Curlia. Am I correct? Yes, this is exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> Let's go. Fire Lash will actually build this up. One hit. No, she's gonna use a track. We're gonna fall in love with this thing. No. That's the worst thing ever when you fall in love with a Pokemon. Sometimes they won't hit. Come on, hit. Whoop on her. Yes, sent the Scorch. That's all I need. I think you can one tap her. Let's go. Let's go, sent the Scorch. He just killed his love. He killed his loved one. <laughs> He's like, I'm sick of you. Tell me what to do. <laughs> Let's go. Garbodor's coming out. We're going to switch over to our Corbin right here. Level 58. We're probably going to Brave Bird up. We might Brave Bird up. But what is Garbodor's, uh, I don't know his, uh, typing. I know he's normal and something, right? But she has a Garbodor. She's actually going to Gigantamax this. I know it because this thing does have a Gigantamax form. So we're going to Dynamax our Corviknight alongside with it to kind of counteract its Gigamax right here. But we're going to go Dynamax, Max Airstream with the bird move. What you want? What you want? Dude, Garbodor turns into a giant. Well, he already is a giant trash bag. And then he turns into a giant dumpster trash bag. <laughs> Let's go, dude. Corviknight's beast. Beast, Corviknight. Look at that boy. All oh, steel out. Looking good. I'm loving it. Ooh, there's a little yell. Let's go, baby. What you want? What you want? Let's go. I think I'll treat you to something truly spectacular. A Gigantamax right here. What you want? Dude, she changed so quickly on us. She was all nice throughout the game. Once we got to the tower, her facial expression was like, what you want? <laughs> Look at this dude. He's a bigger pile of trash. He had he collected an airplane, a boat on him, a substitute thing, cars. <laughs> He's huge. He's just a pile of trash. That is hilarious. That is too funny right here. But we're going to send out our max airstream. Hopefully do some work on him. I know this thing is a tank. I know it's an absolute tank right here. But that's fine. That's fine. What are we going to raise? Our speed rose. So we will attack first next time. And his defense is going to fall. But his attack is going to raise. He will. Oh, no. His speed does. But he will not kill us in this one. Oh, max rock fall. I might have spoken too soon. Max rock fall could do some work on us. 
That did nothing. Yo, dude, I thought that thing was gonna murk us. That did absolutely nothing. Your garbage door stinks. It stinks. <laughs> We're actually gonna finish this bad boy off with. Oh, he goes first because it speeds up, but that's gonna do nothing. Cause you stink. Not even past half health with two gigantic max moves. Get out of here. Max Airstream's gonna finish off this battle with Olina right here. See you later. Peace. Get out my face, little Garbodor boy. And I love when the Dynamax Pokemon die, they just blow up, burn on fire. <laughs> that is too funny. That is too funny. Level up that Corviknight right here. Or no, not level up the Corviknight. Get the Corviknight some XP. Look at Corviknight. Sick Pokemon. There we go. Defeat them. Oh, yeah, dude. She's... Oh, dude. She's not having it. She's all down about it. Look at that cash, dude. 15 grand. <laughs> So like, here, take my money. Ah, uh, this is inexcusable. What was I thinking? Any gym challenger who's made it this far would be no pushover. Under normal circumstances, I would have tried to delay you further. However, all the necessary wishes stars have been collected. Do as you wish. There's nothing to be done now. Oh no, what is going on? They're up to something good. They collected all the wishes stars to do something crazy. Everything I did, I did to further the chairman's own goals. Look at this. Now we got the champion and the chairman just chilling here. Is the, is the champion, is Leon a bad guy? Rose, Leon, we discussed this a hundred times already, and you still, and you fail to understand what's at stake. You, who is supposed to be our champion, I think I understand well enough. What I don't understand is why we ought to cancel tomorrow's tournament in order to solve a problem that's a thousand years away from affecting any of us. What difference is one day going to make? My duty as a champion isn't this. This madness isn't to carry out that champions match that's what Galar wants and what I want it's what we've been looking forward to for so long no you don't understand you still don't understand a thing now we have this thing we got this cutscene he's talking to Leon right here telling him about his plans and all that while trying to convince him to be on his side and all that but I don't know why he just turned it into pictures <laughs> like, why couldn't it just be like that normal 3d thing like this but right here we show up here we're chilling Lee you never sh you never showed when you were supposed to, so I got worried that something had happened. Piers and Marnie and all those Team Yell oddballs, they helped us out to get here. You have the chairman. What's up, dude? I must apologize to you, Hop, if we made you worry at all. There are times when adults just can't seem to have an honest discussion with one another. Sometimes our pride just gets in the way. Never mind any of this. Hop, jeans, let's head back to the hotel and we'll grab dinner all together. It's on me, so you can order whatever you fancy. <laughs> He's like, let's go eat dinner. Yo, we came up here just to get you. I want to beat up this chairman, fool. I know he's up to no good. I know he's doing something dirty. What you want, fool? What you want? What's he doing? One for the history books. You still don't understand, young chairman. We. No, I am going to change the course of history. Bro, dude, he's going to do something crazy. He's going to do something crazy. After we just fancied up a dinner with the champion right here, we're actually ready to go to the battle stadium and actually go complete this game. We have two more things left and we're going to be taking them on in the next episode. So if you guys did enjoy this content, make sure you smash that like button for me and click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everyone.